Oh, hello. This is Tak Chong from Walk with Tak. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. In a video that I posted recently, I discussed the importance of heat in stir frying. As discussed in this video, heat plays a critical role during stir frying. It determines how fast you can cook, and this is the reason why in Asian restaurants they have powerful burners. They are designed specifically for cooking with the wok, and some of them can produce hundred thousand BTU. As compared to most of the burners in a home kitchen,、uh, the highest cap heat capacity is usually less than twenty thousand BTU. The higher the heat capacity that you have, the faster you will be able to cook your food ingredients. Nevertheless, the outcome of the dish actually is not that different、uh, between food that is cooked with a high capacity versus a low capacity burner. If you balance the heat capacity of the stove with the amount of the food that you're going to cook,、uh, you can cook a wonderful meal、uh, on a stove have only modest heat output. And so the key is that how to distribute the food in the wok so that all the ingredients will be cooked evenly, and this is why the act of stirring must not be overlooked, and having the right tool is essential.、Uh, in stir frying. Uh, the rate of stirring is directly related to the amount of the heat that are produced by the burner.、Uh, the more heat is being produced by the burner, the faster you need to stir the ingredients.、And、in stir frying, the heat is concentrated at the bottom of the wok, so it is important、uh, for you to recycle all the food ingredients over that surface area constantly.、Uh, in most home kitchen. The rate of stirring can keep up with the heat that is produced by the burner, and depending what you are cooking, in some cases you don't need to stir the food that much. In this case, almost any spatula can do the job. If the wok has non-stick coating, then only certain type of spatulas could be used. Uh, this has to be the type of spatula that would not scratch the non-stick coating on the surface of the wok.、Uh, however, this type of spatulas are not designed for stir frying.、Uh, they will do the job. However, they are not as effective as well as efficient in mixing the contents during stir frying.、Uh, there is another way to mix the contents during stir frying. Particularly, the burner generates a lot of heat. Uh, this method is known as the peaking style, and the food is being tossed in the air.、Uh, when this is properly performed, it is very efficient in mixing the contents in the wok.、Uh, this is a lot of fun when you cook outdoor on a supercharged burner.、Uh, but in the home kitchen, it might not work out too well, and you are very much limited to the amount of the food that you can cook in the wok. So the most versatile as well as effective way to stir your contents during stir frying is to use a dedicated wok spatula.、Uh, this type of wok spatula have been used for hundreds of years, and originally they were constructed out of cast iron, and now they make from stainless steel.、Uh, they have a different shape from regular spatula. And、most of them has a contour that will allow them to scoop up sauce, and the front of the spatula is slightly beveled, like a scraper. At the stem of the wok spatula is thick and sturdy, and if you use this wok spatula every day、uh, in stirring, you need something really strong. And this wok spatula is designed for every level of stir frying, from home kitchens. To professional kitchens, from the traditional 14-inch woks to woks maybe as large as 24 inches. In order to have a suitable wok spatula for every situation, you can buy wok spatulas of different sizes, both in the size of the blade as well as the length of the stem. However, the basic design of the wok spatulas. Is all the same.、Uh, the most popular length 
for a walk spatula to be used in a 14-inch walk is a 16-inch walk spatula. And for most people, the 14-inch walk spatula is not long enough to keep the hands away from the heat of the stove as well as the walk. And therefore, the 16-inch walk spatula is safer. And the walk spatula actually is designed with two stirring functions. The first function is to push the food ingredients over the surface of the wok. However, this method is not enough to mix the content efficiently. And the other method is to turn the food ingredients over in the wok so that you can use the wok spatula like you would use a shovel. And the angle of the blade of the wok spatula is designed specifically to achieve this goal. So the best way for stir-frying, both most efficient as well most effective, is use the wok spatula to push the food around and then turn them over. And when you combine these two methods, you can rapidly stir-fry a lot of contents in the wok. Uh, in a professional kitchen, the wok spatula is essential for stir-frying. However, many cooks will also have a matching ladle. And they will use the ladles to add sauces to the wok, particularly when they cook at a fast pace. And for some professional cooks, the ladles are all they use, and they use the tossing motion to mix up the food ingredients, particularly when they are being cooked under high heat. However, this will not be what you will do at home, uh, you will be cooking at a much leisurely pace. And the compromise for stirring during stir frying is to use a dedicated wok spatula. And this will allow you to cook many different types of dishes, giving you a lot of flexibility of what you can cook. And you can use the wok spatula to stir fry chicken, beef, shrimp, and fish. It will also work very well with different kinds of vegetables, from leafy vegetables to pepper and tomatoes. Also, you can use the wok spatula to fry eggs, to make an omelette, or even to, uh, to fry a hamburger. Another advantage is its stainless steel construction, making it very easy to clean and maintain. However, there is one drawback of this wok spatula. Because of its stainless steel construction, you cannot use it in wok with non-stick coating. It will create scratch marks on the non-stick coating and causing it to lose its effectiveness. And this is the reason I do not use woks with non-stick coating. I use woks with natural surfaces that will allow me to season the wok to create a non-stick cooked surface, uh, so that I can use my stainless steel wok spatula uh, without the fear of damaging the surface of the wok. Uh, to me, my stainless steel wok without non-stick coating and a stainless steel wok spatula is the best combination for my home kitchen. I like my stainless steel wok because I can use it for many other cooking functions in addition to stir-frying. I like my stainless steel wok spatula also because of its versatility in carrying out other type of cooking functions. And this wok spatula is given to me by my friend Eugene. It is hands down the best wok spatula that I ever had. So this is my two cents of uh, stir-frying in home cooking using a stainless steel wok spatula. I post a video each day to help you to make home cooking as part of your daily routines. And when you use my fast cooking system, it is possible for you to make a home cooked meal from scratch uh, in less than 30 minutes. And if you'd like to learn more about my cooking system, uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. So keep on cooking. I will see you tomorrow.